This is the story of a backyard build catamaran. back to another episode I got myself set up here at the house because I got a little undercover area and it's been raining a lot and what I'm doing here is I got a little setup let me show y'all right here got a little setup is a lofting table for the tillers underneath all these pieces of wood right here that's the tillers or gonna be the tillers and then right here all the pieces for the sleds where the engines are attached I already have one semi glued together so the boat is powered by two outboards and they get attached with these basically this is a uh, not basically that's what they get attached with <laughs> you got to envision this as if this was a transom and this is where the outboard clamps onto and these are the individual pieces that still need to be glued together and that's what we're going to do right now So I got both sides attached, fillets are in there, now it's time to let this thing dry overnight. What's Max doing? Oh, he's over there. There's two dogs over there. A little hyper aggressive little fuckers too. <laughs> he fucks with them, I'm not even gonna lie. But uh, yeah, you gotta have a little fun in life, right? Oh, also I got myself a nice little portable table saw. I love this thing. This thing is freaking amazing. And everything works. A little, all the bells and whistles. Yeah. You can adjust this angle of the blade too. Yeah, all in all, very happy. We'll fit in the boat too. So it's the next morning here. We got good weather too. Sunshine, can't complain. Everything dried up nicely. This is all solid now. The next step here is to put the floor on. That will be this thing. And uh, I have it upside down here. Just because I think that will be the easiest way to get this on. Yeah. Coming together. Well, just a couple of things to the plans. There's these two sets. One, a regular, like, type of construction plans and this booklet right here is a step by step in the beginning it was very detailed it gave you this and then every last step here how to do every last thing at this point 
<laughs> they kind of only give you uh, the regular plans and then here a picture. This is all that contains everything that has to do with uh, these sleds. In the beginning, if this would have been one of the first projects, it would have been like two pages full of real detail how everything gets together. And here's just very simple. And I think that's good that they do it because it should be expected that at this point, you know, it's been two and a half years, you understand these plans very well, or and not very well, that might be an exaggeration. Well, yeah, maybe, but definitely way, way better than in the on the first day, or even the first year. Get Max And, uh... Hey, Kinu, bro. And now, because they're doing it very limited, uh, where will we... It's like a test in a way, you know, are you understanding what you're doing? And I think I do, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> in general, I feel, yeah, it's kind of like a nice little test to see where your skills are at. Yeah, that's basically what I was trying to say. So my plan of attack with this here is uh, just to screw this down in place, get it all squared away and then flip it around and run the first fillet on the inside. That should give it stability, let it dry, and then do the outside part. Yeah, seems to be, see that's what I mean. Normally they would tell you, yeah, do this part first, then you do this part. At this stage, the plans just kind of give you like, hey, build this, here's the dimensions, and go get at it. Yeah, I think that's the better way to explain what I tried to explain in the last minute and a half. Yeah, so it uh, gives us a fairly good idea how it's going to look. The engine will be attached right here. Prop will be hanging down there. And then when you tilt it, it tilts up in here and then you raise this up to the bottom of the deck. Very excited. I've been waiting to build this for a long, long time. And it's fun because there's a lot of cutting. No fiberglassing yet. It's just been a day of cutting wood and measuring. And now we're gonna run the fillets and all these edges. Let it dry, do the same thing on the outside. Sweet. It is kind of funny, this dog was never really interested in any kind of toys, but he just fell in love with that basketball. Every time we turn around, he's just like, oh, you wanna play, you wanna play? And he's six years old now, and that is completely new behavior. Look how handsome he is. What a great dog. Can't wait to take him uh, in the little ocean. So it's been a couple of hours and this has started to kick off. It's actually quite hard already, which is awesome. A couple more info on what I've been using here for this is the standard stuff, epoxy resin and hardener. This is the slow hardener, you use that when it's hot. Then there's a fast cure. That's what you use when it's cold. Obviously West system, I heard and I have only experienced my only experience is with this kind of stuff, but I heard it's some of the best epoxy you can get. 
The reason behind that is fairly simple because I'm building an ocean going boat. If I build a kayak or something, I would probably not care too much about what brand it is and I would go with the cheaper ones. But because I'm trying to build a boat that's an ocean going one that's going to last for a long, long time, I chose West System. Also, what I'm using to mix it with is silica. Colloidal silica, West System 406. This stuff makes the hardest fillet. You want to use it for structural fillets. Then there's fairing material too. I use that in a to fair the boat, for example, in episode number 24. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to post this video before I post episode number 24, which will make this number 24. But at the end of the day, on the next step. Now we're going to attach these right here. Cut at an angle so to fit in uh, right in this gap. And then there's also a back leg. And then another fillet to run right here, and then this is definitely getting ready to be fiberglass. Sweet. <laughs> 